first time in my life I have so great people around me. To be honest, the, the problem before was that I don't think I felt I was worthy of good, real people in my life. I mean, Charlie just like, okay, bam, here, here it is. And this is like, not even water goes through this because we have been fighting for this for three years now. Like every, every day. started doing music full time which was basically it was just a decision that I want I have to believe in that I that I'm going to do this we have expression an expression in swedish that it's um since money there so fees money there and that means like if you're if people don't see you you don't exist you have to always promote yourself you have to always be out there like always like make sure people notice you and that is a way could be very hard to for, for, for many people it's hard to know how to handle that stuff because you you're supposed to managing yourself or like promote yourself at the same time as you are supposed to be humbled and have your feet on the ground and always know that it's a long way you have to fight you have to take like nine no's before there comes one yes if I cannot 
artistically uh, sing and perform I cannot have the same uh, fire inside of me which I mean I don't mean to sound arrogant but which I think when I have that fire inside of me I can do something for other people that is very rare and which I love with myself I can empower and I can uh, make people feel very good about themselves uh, just by being happy you know being really truly fully uh, happy it's hard to combine that with having faith in yourself and having a dream having the, like like a, a, a way you want to go and like you want to fight for it and you want to you have to believe in what you do you have to believe in yourself you have to like really really tell yourself you can do this you you are worth you're worth doing what you'd love to do and you have to go this way because this is where your heart is i feel i'm on the right way absolutely i feel actually the last year for me has been uh, the biggest difference in terms of uh, localizing what i need to try to do with myself and therefore I have been doing great music with my beloved partner, Cornelia. Because when I stay true, I mean, I stay true to my, whatever you want to call it, pain or happiness or whatever. Um, that's when I know I'm on the right way. I mean, Charlie, just like exactly on the same page as you are and like believe in it exactly the same and are fighting for it exactly the same as you, you you are yourself and we feel like it's, it's it's going up it's going up and just feeling when we were on stage last night here in Istanbul I haven't felt that for a long time that was epic like the crowd was it was like the whole crowd including us just stepped up like three three stairs <laughs> and we're here like bam, 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 just together you know jumping together everyone was having so much fun and we were like with them and it was like energy just flowing between and you get so much back when it's when it's that kind of experience that's when you realize Okay, this is why we were fighting so hard. about yourself you cannot like be too secure of yourself you cannot just like it's it's like being very 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 humble and like too much humble in many ways because that's like pushing down all the creativeness and like the good energy that comes from being faithful and um, and like having faith in yourself that's very important to, to 
exist. You have to, you have to be in yourself. I mean, most of all, I think it's important to have these kind of experiences emotionally, not because of the weather, maybe because of situations in your life or relationships. But also, being Swedish, the darkness affects you a lot. And sometimes you get extremely depressed uh, by it. It creates a certain depth to your mental state of mind. Uh, having this environment. You know, it's, it doesn't work. It's a really hard combination. So that's both good and bad. I mean, and that with being Swedish, it's good because you're humble, but it's bad because it's hard to really be this pushy. And I don't mean it in a bad way because there are some very, very good qualities uh, about Swedish people regarding this matter that they are stable, they are hard workers, they are dependable. Uh, they keep their promises. I mean, you have a lot of positive things. But for me, it has been sometimes it makes my skin crawl. As soon as you get outside Sweden, it's a difference. I mean, if you come to US, you have to be like, I'm the shit. I'm like this. I'm oh, oh, you know, everyone is doing that. And what, as a Swedish girl, you come and like, no, 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 yeah, I like to sing. You know, doesn't work. People are like, hey, but who are you? Tell to me, explain to me why why you should have this job. Why should I why should I give you this track or whatever? That's where it comes bad being that humble <laughs> because you really should you 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 must have both both sides. When I was younger, I used to I, I have been brought up in different environments and in different cities. So sometimes when things are too stable, I, I have felt the the need to run away. Which I did <laughs> sometimes to other countries. But now, I mean, as I get more experienced with myself, I also realize that uh, this running away is more a matter of uh, finding my creativity inside. It's not about running to another country sometimes or making new friends. It's about, you know, getting creative in these uh, dark times where you are just bored as hell to be kind. Self-respect. You don't have self-respect if you just think you're like, no, I know, no, I'm just not. That's like, you, you're really worth doing what you want to do. And you are worth feeling happy with what you do. You can't just sit there and like being humble all the time. It doesn't work. It doesn't take you anywhere. But of course you have to be that too. It's about complexity. Music is the only thing besides alcohol and drugs that can make you get really high. If I cannot express myself externally, I feel uh, I have a hard time connecting to uh, a good confidence. And I know this sounds very shallow, maybe it is, but it, it's a big part of uh, me expressing myself, actually. But it's just because the song push your exactly, exactly uh, your bottoms that like in a combination that makes a code that makes your heart just like open and that's such an amazing thing to to uh, get the privilege to do this is my truth and it's very very uh, empowering to find what you need to do with your life and to create something that is going to be forever in history for some people and foremost for myself. I'm so grateful that I have that I have that inside me that I have the creative uh, gene that makes me want to make music and that makes me want to sing and makes me want to share this this drug <laughs> called music. I love it so much and I want people to feel the same. That's why we do this, because we want to spread this feeling. And I don't think it's a narcissistic way that I, you know, that I need to feel like when I die, there's going to be a piece.
recently left in this world, it's just I need to feel when I die that I made my life matter for myself and I'm very happy that I'm doing that. When I'm on stage, I'm like, I'm in my fullest version of myself. There's nothing holding me back. I've been doing this for quite some time and of course people around me uh, have been questioning these choices because uh, it's very hard. It's a very hard way of living. Uh, honestly, sometimes I can't even motivate it in words for myself. I think and I believe by doing that, I hope I inspire people to listen to their inner, inner force and inner thoughts and inner feelings and just that it's okay it's okay to feel stuff it's okay to do stuff it's okay to to just let it loose and and live because that's what that's what life's about somebody asked me why are you putting yourself through this i can't because they cannot uh, not always um understand what it does for me because it just ignites something inside of me that is so important that I cannot quit. That's why I'm stuck to being an artist and like doing these shows and singing because that's my way of showing how to do that. Because that's my way of being myself. And if I quit, my dream will die with it and probably I will too.